is a revolution building in Lamu County? That's a question I want us to answer in this video. Before we do that, let's listen to some Lamu leaders before we proceed. Hatuta nyamaza na hatuta uziwa uoga na sirikali wala waziri kindiki wala yeyote. Asionge tu, ameongea kwa mda wa mwezi mzima sasa. Hatutaki perepere za waziri, hatutaki perepere za viongozi ambao wanaunga mkono mambo wasio ya jua, hatutaki perepere za kutishwa sisi wenyeji wa lamu, hatutishiki, hatuogopi mtu yoyote. Na ikiwa sirikali itakata kusikia sauti zetu sisi indigenous ambao ni wanyonge hapa lamu kwa nini anaingilia wenye kumiliki ranchi zilamu. Atuambie interest yake kwa hizi ranches ni nini. Walikuja kuzipata hizo ranches. Walikuja wakazipata zikiwa hapo. Kwa nini leo yeye amekuwa akifungua mdomo yeye haja yake ni ranches. Ukiingia kwa mtu mwenyewe akikufukuza muelewane lakini sio kusema huyo atolewe nipewe mimi. Maisha imekuwa ni magumu. Kuweka chakula moja kwa meza ni ngumu. Leo inaamua tena kupeana authority ya nyumba za maskini kubomolewa. Kama Ruto umesahau naomba nikukumbushe. Hizi nyumba zinabomolewa ndio za mama mboga. Hizi nyumba zinabomolewa ni za boda boda wenye walikupatia kura wakikuamini kwamba utakuja kulinda maisha yao. Leo umeruhusu wale waliokupatia kura waregeshwe maskini wa barabarani na utalipa kwa njia nyingine. Nataka niseme hivi kama mwenyekiti wa lands ndani ya assembly. Niwacha wabomoe wanaendelea kubomoa tena bila huruma, kinyama, hakuna shida. Nataka nitoe taarifa ni kwamba nikiwa mwenyekiti wa lands hakuna approval hata moja itapita kwa assembly kwa maendeleo ya kufanya hapa. Hata approval hata moja. Na nataka niombe governor approval hata moja ya county isipite ya kuruhusu shughuli yote ifanyike katika hii ardhi. Hakuna kufence, hakuna they have to apply. Hakuna approval ya kufence hapa mahali. Hata siku moja na wananchi niwaambie. Tulipeana kura, mlipeana kura mkimwamini. Leo amewasaliti. Mungu akitaka kukuharibu wewe kiongozi, anakupandisha kiburi. Tumekiona leo. For some times now, there have been some anti-government sentiments in Lamu County the recent one being on demolition of houses. Before we dig deep into that, I want us to understand Lamu politically for Kenyans to understand what might be happening behind the scenes. In 2022 presidential election, Raila Odinga had 51.34% of the presidential votes that's 26162 ruto had 44.89% that's 22876 votes so in terms of presidential votes raila odinga beat william ruto he had 51.34% in terms of elected leaders the governor went to anc of musale mudavadi Senator went to Jubilee, women rep was independent, and then the two constituencies in Lamu County, Lamu West went to Jubilee, Stanley Muiruri, Lamu East went to Jubilee again, Ruweda Mohammed. So the two constituencies in Lamu were in Azimio. So it's coming out very clearly that in 2022, the county was leaning towards Azimio. And these were the results Chebukati did announce. We don't know whether these were the real results on the ground. But that's what IBC did announce. Something that is very interesting about these leaders, you find that the senator is somebody Kamau, 
Women rep is somebody mudoni. Lam West MP Stanley Muiruri. So you find that most of these elected leaders are from the mountain. And I think that's very interesting. And is also <laughs> adding or exacerbating to what is currently happening in Lamu County. Let's dig deep. What's happening in Lamu, ladies and gentlemen? A few weeks ago, we saw a group of elders in Lamu County saying that they are elders representing the indigenous communities or the indigenous tribes in the county. And they did announce that going forward, they will not allow outsiders to come and control them in their own county. After that, we saw the government landing there in full force and very many of them were arrested, accused of incitement. And those elders explained on how for several years, outsiders have taken almost all positions in Lamu County. So they were saying that going forward, they will not allow that. And it's actually true that if you look at the list of the elected leaders, you are seeing most of them are coming from the mountain. And that is because if you look at the ethnic composition of Lamu County, eh, the tribes, there is a hoping majority of people from the mountain in Lamu County. So the indigenous Lamu residents must identify with these Mount Kenya individuals for them to win political seats in Lamu County. A good example is the governor, Isa Timami, who picked somebody from the mountain as his deputy. And that has been the trend for you to get votes there. If you look on how Lamu has been voting over these years, the indigenous tribes are always against the government. They have been voting with the opposition. In 2022, it was a very interesting mix in that the government and the opposition were together. So this constituency, or rather this section that has always been voting for the government, somehow split their votes. That was the mountain. And the other half joined hands with the indigenous. And that's how Azimio ended up winning. So if you look at what is currently causing trouble in that county, the indigenous locals feel the government is very hard on them and intimidating them. The government does not want them to air out their grievances. If they talk out exactly of what is ailing them, police and others are being unleashed on them. And that was witnessed a few weeks ago. And you are now seeing that the leadership, or rather a section of the leadership, are now coming out very boldly to say enough is enough. And they are telling this government clearly that will not allow you to threaten and to intimidate us. Yes. So I'm saying that as a declaration of war because the ground has been boiling for some times now. And if William Ruto is not very, very careful, then the so-called hustlers, this Mount Kenya residents who are currently in Lamu, who have been voting along that line all along, William Ruto is most definitely going to lose them. And that can be the beginning of a revolution in Lamu County. Eh? A revolution does not really need to be violent. There can be a very peaceful revolution where the people themselves decide that any leadership to do with Kenya Kwanza or with William Ruto will be rejected. And already we have even seen in Kalenjin Rift Valley, what is happening there? The ground is becoming very hostile. 
same to the mountain. Across the country, the ground is becoming very hostile to Kenya Kwanzaa government. If Ruto does not address what these residents of Lamu are complaining about, then it's almost certain and very clear that Ruto will lose more popularity in Lamu each passing day. And also to add it to the ethnic domination of the so-called people from the mountain, that is only worsening the situation. And that's also why not once, not twice, but on several locations, we've also been seeing some attacks in Lamu. The government has to be seen as a unifying government. Ruto's government is very divisive, talking of shareholding government. The government should and must be seen as a unifier. That's the only way Lamu residents will live in peace. Let me stop it there. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. In case you are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you.